Shin Atai Yamim Uparo Holem Beine Omed Al Haye Or Beine Min Haye Or Olo Sheva Parod Yefot Mare Ubri Ot Basar Batir Ena Baahu Beine Sheva Parod Achero Alot Acharechen Min Haye Or Ra'ot more v'dakot basar v'ta'amod na etzel haparot al shvat hayeor v'tochal na haparot ra'ot amor v'dakot basar et sheva haparot yafot amor v'habriot v'ikat paro v'ishan. Vayachalom shenit, vayne sheva shibalim. Olod, vekane echad briot vetavot, vayne sheva shibalim. Dakot ujdufot kadim, somchot acharechen. Vativa ena hashibalim hadakot, et sheva shibalim habriot vehamleot. By Kat Paro Vehine Chalom. Amen. Vayomir Paro El Yosef. Chalom, Chalom Ti. Ufoter Ein Oto. Veani. Shemati Alech Alemor. Tishma Chalom Lif Tor Oto. Vaya an Yosef et paro, le mor beli adai, Elohim ya'ane et shlom paro. Yidaber paro el Yosef, v'chalami, hine ni omeid al svat ha'yeor, v'hine min ha'yeor. Olot sheva parot, briot basar, vaya fotoar, Vatir ena ba'ahu v'hine sheva parot acherot olod acharehen dalot vera otoar me od vera kot basar lo ra'iti kahena bichol eretz mitzrayim lo ra'a v'tochana haparot harakot v'haraot. Et sheva haparot, harishanot habriot. Amen. Okay. Amen. Vakamu. Savash nira'a vacharen. Vanishkoa kohazava be'eretz mitzrayim. Vechilo harav et ha'aretz. Velo yivada ha'sava be'eretz. Mibnei ha'rav ha'hu. Acharechen ki chaved u'me'od. Ve'ashinot ha'chalom. Elparo pa'amayim ki nachon ha'davar. Me'ama Elohim. U'mimaher Elohim la'asato. Ve'yata yere paro. Ishnavon v'chacham. Vayishitehu al Eretz Mitzrayim, Yaseh Paro vayivke pekudim al Aretz, Vechamesh et al Aretz Mitzrayim, Vesava shnei asava, Vayikbetzu et ko ochel hashanim atavot habaot, Ha'ele vayitzberu bar, Tachad yad paro ochel be'arim v'shamru, Vehaya ochel yivkadol na Eretz asava, Shnei ha'rav asher tiyena be'Eretz Mitzrayim, ולא תכרת הארץ ברעב הטוב, הדבר בעיני פרעה ובעיני כל עבדיו, ויאמר פרעה אל עבדיו, הנמצא כזה איש אשר רוח אלוהים בו. אמן. ויאמר פרעה אל יוסף, אחרי הודיע אלוהים אותך. את כל זאת אין אבון וחכם כמוך, אתה תהיה על ביתי ויפיח, יישא כל עמי, רק הכיסא הגדל ממך. ויאמר פרעה אל יוסף, ראה נתתי אותך, על כל ארץ מצרים, וישא פרעה את אבתו מעל ידו, וייתן אותה, 
היד יוסף, ויד בשעתו בגדי שש, ויסם רבד על זהב על צווארו, וירכב אותו במרכבת המשנה, אשר לא, ויקראו לפניו אברכה, ונתון אותו על כל ארץ מצרים, ויאמר פרעה אל יוסף, אני פרעה ובלעדיך, לא ירים איש את ידו ואת רגלו. לכל ארץ מצרים, ויקרא פרעה שם יוסף צף נעת, ויענך וייתן לו את הסנאפ הפוטיפרה, כהן און, לשב ויצא יוסף על ארץ מצרים. אמן. ויוסף בן שלושים שנה, ויעמדו לפני פרעה מלך מצרים, ויצא יוסף מלפני פרעה. ויעבור בכל ארץ מצרים, ותעש הארץ בשבע שני הסבע לגמצים, ויקבצה כל אוכל שבע שנים, אשר היו בארץ מצרים, ויתן אוכל בערים אוכל שתי העיר, אשר סביבותיה נתן בתוכה, ויצבור יוסף בר כחו, הים הרבה מאוד, עד כי חדה, לספור כי אין מספר. וליוסף יילד שני בנים בטרם תבוא שנת הרעב, אשר יולדה לו אסנה פפוטיפרה כהן און. ויקרא יוסף את שם הבכור, מנשה כי נשעני אלוהים את כה עמלי, ואת כה בית אבי, ואת שם השני קרא אפרים, כי הפרני אלוהים בארץ אני. וביום השישי נשיא לבני גד, אליאסוף בן דאואל, קרבנו קרא כסף אחת שלישים ומאה משקלה מזרק אחד כסף שים שקל בשקל הקודש שניהם מלאים סולת בלב השמן למנחה כף אחת עשרה זהב מלאה קטורת פור אחד בן בקר עיל אחד כבש אחד בן שנות הלילה סיריזים אחד לחטאת ולזבח השלומים בקר שניים מלאים חמישה עתודים חמיקה, חמישה כבשים בני שנה, חמישה זה קורבן אלי אסף בן דאואל. אשרי יושבי ביתך עוד יעלוך הסלע, אשרי העם שככה לו, אשרי העם שאדוני אלוהיו, תהילה לדוד ארמים לך אלוהי המלך, ואברכה שמך לעולם ועד, וכל ימיו אברכך והלה שמך לעולם ועד, גדול אדוני מול המאוד, ולי גדולתו אין חקר. דור לדור ישבח מעשיך, וגבורתך יגידו. הדר כבוד עודך, ודברי נפלתך אסיך, ואזוז נורתך יאמרו, וגדולתך אספרנה. זכר רב תבך יביא, וצדיקתך ירננו. חנין ורחום אדוני, ערך אפיים וגדלך עשה, טוב אדוני לכל, ורחמיו על כל מעשיו. יודוך אדוני כל מעשיך, וחסידך יברכוך. כבוד מלכותך יאמרו, וגבורתך ידברו, להודיע לפני אדם גבורותיו, וכבוד אדר מלכותו, מלכותך מלכות כל עמים, וממשלתך בכל דור ודור. סומך אדוני לכל הנופלים, וזוקף לכל הכפופים, הנה כל הלכה יסברו, ואתה נותן להם את אכלם ביתו, פותח את ידיך, ומשפיע לכל חי רצון, צדיק אדוני בכל דרכיו, וחסיד בכל מעשיו. קרוב אדוני לכל קרוב, לכל אשר יקראו באמת. רצון יראה ויעשה, ויעט שבתם ישמע ויושיעם. שומר אדוני את כל אהבה, ויהיה כל רשעים ישמיד. תהילת אדוני ידבר פי, ויברך כל בשר שם קדשו לעולם ועד. ואנחנו נברך ים יצא ויד עולם. הללויה. שבת שלום. My parsha is entitled me Kates, which means the end. It begins with the end of Joseph's imprisonment and his interpretation of Pharaoh's two dreams in the royal court. Pharaoh is impressed with Joseph's wisdom and elevates him to vizier, second only to Pharaoh in authority. The famous story is familiar to all of us. Yosef predicts seven good years followed by seven bad years and prepares Egypt for the famine. During this time, Egypt is visited by Joseph's brothers who are sent by Jacob to find food. The famine is not only in Egypt, but in Israel too. They do not recognize Joseph, and as they say, the plot thickens. With next week's Torah portion, the family reunion. Yosef's brother, many commentators have pointed out that God is absent in the story of Yosef's life. God never speaks directly to Yosef, 
nor does God appear to him in his dreams as he did in the dreams of his forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. While Joseph has no direct contact with God, the strange turn of events in his life are sufficient to show God's involvement with Yosef and caused Yosef to believe that God, in fact, was present and often revealed that presence in mysterious ways. While God is silent in this parsha, Yosef's faith remains strong. The message of the Miketz parsha is an important and meaningful one. It is a message about God, often revealing his presence in mysterious ways, in the power of dreams. Throughout human history, dreams have been a powerful and motivating force in making the world a better place. Moses dreamed of freedom for the Jewish people in the land of Mitzrayim. Theodore Herzl dreamed of a homeland for the Jewish people. Nelson Mandela dreamed of freedom for all South Africans. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream, but he not only dreamed it, he made it an unforgettable part of history with his powerful I Have a Dream speech. The miracle of Hanukkah, the holiday we celebrate this week, was a dream come true. An ancient Greek army tried to force Jews to leave their religion, but the Jews revolted, defeated their enemies in battle, and reclaimed their dream, the temple in Jerusalem. And yet another dream came true when the, Maccabi, when the Macca Maccabees only had one day's supply of oil to light their menorah, and yet the menorah burned brightly for eight days. Even Kevin Costner had a dream in one of my favorite movies, Field of Dreams, and that his memorable quote, If you build it, they will come. This is a powerful message that the only way your dreams can ever come true is if you're prepared to follow them. Yes, my Parsha is about dreams, and in fact, so is life. Dreaming dreams and then working hard and doing everything possible to make sure your dreams come true. One of my greatest dreams is for a world of peace, where all people, regardless of their race or religion, will be able to live together in harmony and mutual respect. I dream that in my lifetime, the day will come when we no longer see terrorism, here in the United States, in Israel, or anywhere in the world. This morning, I am dedicating my bar mitzvah to the memory of Adam Weinstein, a 14-year-old Israeli teen killed two weeks ago today in the terrorist bombing at Jerusalem's Ben Yehuda pedestrian mall. In the Jerusalem Post, his brother described Adam as always having a smile. Adam was a talented student who, like me, loved playing basketball and playing the piano. My thoughts and prayers today are with Adam, his family, and with all victims of terrorism. In Adam's memory, I will be making a donation to the Jewish Federation of Atlanta's Israel Crisis Pathway Fund, which provides aid to victims of terrorism and their families. For the past several years, I have also dreamed of this day, becoming a bar mitzvah and sharing this experience with my family, my friends, my congregation, and my community. Becoming a bar mitzvah has required hard work and dedication, but when you work hard, your dreams really can come true. I would like to thank so many who worked so hard to help make my dream come true. First, I would like to thank Rabbi Lewis for all his help and guidance. I would like to thank my teachers at the Epstein School, and especially Mrs. Rosenbaum, who is so much more than a tutor, and whose passion and knowledge of Torah helped bring my parsha out of life. Yet another dream I have had that has come true this weekend is that all four of my grandparents are here to share this unforgettable day with me. Grandma Marsha, Grandpa Arnie, Grandma Betty, and Grandpa Harvey. You have been my inspiration for 13 years. I love the times we spend together. You are generous, patient, and fun. I am very fortunate to have such wonderful, loving grandparents, and I love you all very much. I have also lived the dream of having a great brother and a beautiful sister. Scott, you are smart, funny, and even though it's tough for you to score baskets on me, you're almost always a good sport about it. Even though we occasionally argue, I want to thank you for making every day an adventure and being such an important part of my life. I am proud that you're my brother and my best friend, and I love you very much. And Jennifer, you have given me the dream of having a little sister. I love hearing you sing, I love watching you dance, and I love hearing you read to me. You've always been a great sport going to all my games and cheering for me from the sidelines. I want you to know how much I love you, and in a few years, remember, I will be there to watch out for you when boys start calling our house to go out with you. Mom, I know how hard you have worked to make this weekend special, and I want to thank you for everything you have done for me, driving me to all my sports, cheering for me in the stands, helping me with my homework, and even making me practice the piano. You are the best mom in the world. Most important, you are compassionate and have taught me how important it is to be concerned for others, especially those less fortunate. I am so proud of how beautifully you read the Torah this morning, and I am even more proud to be your son. I love you more than words can say. And Dad, 
You have taught me so much over the years, whether it has been how to make a layup, pitch a curveball, and most importantly, to never take my film to a drugstore. You've always shown me how, good, how to be a good friend and son, and even how to tell a joke that is usually funny. I love the time we spend together, and I am grateful that, of the, that because of you, I have inherited the genes to be a Buffalo Bills fan forever. You have been a wonderful father, and I love you very much. To my family and friends, and to my congregation and community, thank you all for being here today and helping make my dream of becoming a bar mitzvah come true. As the emotional and unforgettable year of 2000 comes to a close, I want to wish everyone of every religion a happy and healthy holiday season, and let there be peace on earth. Shabbat shalom. Eric, I want to wish you mazel tov on a beautiful Devar Torah and on conducting services so perfectly and flawlessly last night and on Shabbos. Thank you. In your Devar Torah, you spoke about a lot of things and you shared some wonderful ideas with you. But one thing I want to share with you is that this Parsha and this Shabbos has special meaning for me as well. A few years ago, I also celebrated my Bar Mitzvah on this very same Shabbos, Shabbos Miketz, and also on the holiday of Hanukkah. And I want to know it is an honor and a delight that I'm able to share my memory with you and that as I think of the Shabbos in years to come, I'll know that I shared it with such a fine, wonderful young man. So I thank you for that gift of a lovely and of a sweet memory. Now in your Torah portion, it's called Mikates, which means the end. And a lot of young men and a lot of young women, when they get to their bar or bat mitzvah, they make their Torah portion be case, and they say it's the end. They stop studying, they stop educating themselves, they stop becoming better Jews, and they just go off and do whatever they want. But I know, Eric, that you are the kind of young man that this might be a mikates, this might be an end, but it is also a hatchala, which means a beginning. That all of the preparation has gotten you to this wonderful point but you are going to take all of the knowledge, all of the wisdom, and all of the experience and use it in the years ahead. You had a fine education from the Epstein School, but you even had a finer education from your parents and from your grandparents on both sides, who are devoted, committed parents, wonderful Jews, compassionate and caring human beings. And as you take the message of your parents and grandparents and of your tradition, and you take it from out there and put it in here, in your heart and in your soul, we know that you will be a source of nachas, a source of joy and delight for us in all of the years, the many happy years that lie ahead. To you, once again, a mazel tov, to your wonderful parents, to your mother and to your father, wave to your mother and your father, to your sister and to your brother, and to all the family and friends that are here sharing in this very, very delightful and wonderful moment in Eric's life. And now I want to give you words from our tradition that go back thousands of years that I know you will treasure and that I know will guard and protect you in the years to come. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha, Yaher Adonai panavei lecha v'yichunecha, Yisa Adonai panavei lecha v'yasein lecha shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his countenance to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may he give you a long, happy, healthy, and creative life. And let us all say, Amen. Mazel tov. And once again, we invite all the family and friends to come up and to give you hugs and kisses. Simintov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simintov. Simintov, mazel tov, mazel tov. Simintov, simintov, mazel tov, mazel tov, simintov. Yeah, hey, Manu. Yeah, hey, Manu. Amen.